It's a 640-acre compound of tidy buildings, manicured lawns, cattle, and enough hay to feed them. It may look like a dude ranch, but this is a state-run minimum security prison with felons working the land and the horses. There are no towers or armed guards. A simple four-foot cattle fence marks the perimeter between the prison and the town of Riverton, Wyoming. You know, Wyoming has a tendency to do things a little differently because we're a smaller state, and I think uh, it, it's one of those things, until you see it, you can't actually believe it yourself. Curtis Moffitt has spent his entire career in corrections. He's the warden on the farm, and about the only one here who doesn't wear cowboy boots to work. The thing that struck me, when you drive up, you see a four-foot-high cattle fence. What's to stop an inmate from making a run for it or riding off into the sunset? Realistically, himself. Most of these guys are at the end of their sentence, so most of them don't want to destroy that or, you know, catch another number, um, do another five years or so. It, it's on them to make sure that they're going to do things the right way. Most inmates have earned the right to be here, transferred for good behavior from more restrictive state prisons. And each day, about 30 inmates report to work in a maze of chutes and pens with wild horses weighing up to 1,000 pounds. Their job is to transform these Mustangs from wild burdens of the state into riding horses that can fetch thousands at auction.